Welcome back to another episode. This is Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020. Uh, we are the New Hampshire Wildcats. We are 26 and 7. Uh, and we are in the second round of the NCAA tournament. You can see we are in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 game winning streak as we move on to the round of the 30, a round of 32 to take on number eight seed and number two seed in the conference or in the uh, tournament, St. Mary's. We aren't given much of a chance to win. We, it looks like we're going to expect it to hold our own, but. Uh, we are one of the highest scoring teams in the nation, averaging over 80 points a game. Um, very well, very spread out scoring. If you look at our stats, and we've done all this. I've already showed you guys all this multiple times. But um, you can see we have six players averaging in double figures. Um, so very spread out team. Losing John Cook earlier in the year hurts. But we only go like seven deep right now. We play our five starters, uh, Karaza, Sidelnikov, and Farley play. So we go eight deep, and we don't really need to do much more than that. So we're going to jump right in and play this game here against St. Mary's. All right. Sorry. Got the show. <laughs> All right, so the St. Mary's Gales, 23-9 and nine on the year, the number two seed, number eight seed in the country. Charlie McIntyre, Josh Whitting in the backcourt. Whitting is their high score. Harrington, Hardy, and Bowie. I wonder if he's any relation to Sam. In the front court for us, it's Montgomery and Harmon with Nixon, Burris, and Fishback. So let's go to the tip and see how round two goes. If we lose, we'll start the offseason. If we win, we will play the next game. So, it'll either be a, well, it's going to be a two-game episode either way. It'll either be the round of 16, or it'll be the first game of last year. As we get on the board with a free throw, and it's one nothing. St. Mary's is able to hit that one. Two free throws by Harmon put us up by a point. So, yeah, so it'll be two episodes either way. It'll just be either the round of 32 and the round of 16, or it'll be the round of 32, followed by the offseason and uh, the first game of next year. So we'll see how it goes. But right now we're up 6-2. Fish back in the paint, gets a couple free throws, and we're up 6. Gales hit 1-2 at the line. We miss two shots there. Get a shot and a rebound and miss. St. Mary's gets a bucket to get within three. And Harmon turns it over. So it's, what is it, a 4 nothing run for St. Mary's? We get a basket, though, to go back up by three. Missed three by Fishback. The big man is not afraid to shoot it. An and one for the Gales to tie it. Fish, uh, Nixon, that's right, I have two 35s out there. I, I don't know how to fix that, but that's going to confuse the hell out of me. So one of my 35s just bricked two free throws. That was Fishback, and we're now losing by two. I don't expect to win this game, um, but crazier things have happened as Nixon hits a three-pointer. That's Fishback gets in the paint. So both 35s are out there. It's just going to confuse me the whole time. That's fine. Nixon hits that shot. He's got seven. We are tied at 19. Missed three-pointer by Sedelnikov. They miss a three. There's a missed shot by Harmon, but we get it back. Another missed three by Sedelnikov. A lot of passing here. 25th, and there's a shot clock violation. We get the ball across the paint. One out of two at the line for Carraza. We're up three now. Midway through the first half. A lot 
lot of passing for us. In the paint, Carraza gets two free throws, and we have our biggest lead of the game at five. Two free throws by Burris, and we're up seven. So we're up seven with the ball. We're now up nine. One out of two at the line for the Gales, but to get the offensive rebound. And they turn it over. We missed the shot there. We're up eight. Make it six as they get the put back. Baseline jumper, no good. Put back by Fishback is good. And it's a 10 point game as Carraza sinks that one. In the paint, O'Neill with a basket. So unexpected offense as we're up 11 now. Make it 13 as Sedelnikov hits a shot. Turnover by the Cats. They miss the shot. We get it back. In the paint, Montgomery goes to the bucket for two. And we're up by 13. Three-pointer missed by Nixon. They get another basket. Four quick points for the Gales. Get them within 11. Shot missed there, but we get the offensive rebound. Missed shot. They get it back and turn it over. Right in the paint, Harmon misses, but we get the offensive rebound. Fishback goes to the line and hits one out of two. They miss a three. We're up 12 with the basketball. Two free throws by Harmon. We're up 14 now with the ball. Montgomery hits a shot. We're up 16. One out of two for the Gales. It's a 15-point game. Three-pointer by Nixon, and we're up 18 points against the number two seed St. Mary's. 19-point lead, 48-29. to 29. They hit a three to go up six, down 16. We miss a shot, get the offensive rebound. Miss a shot, they get it back. I would have preferred them to hold it for one, but they miss it, we get it back. Uh, two free throws to put us up 17, and we're going to go to the half. We're going to go to halftime up 49 to 32 against the number eight overall and number two seed in the tournament, St. Mary's Gales. So they shot, so they shot 37 percent. They were 11 of 29 from the field. They're only one of 10 from behind the three point line. Nine of 15 from the charity stripe. They turned it over eight times. They were led by Bowie, who had eight, Harrington five, Hardy four. Uh, their backcourt had no points on 0 of 7 shooting. I think Whitting was their top scorer, and he was in foul trouble. Uh, Jackson was 6 off the bench. Bennett with 4. Lopez with 3. Wadley with 2. Kim and Rozier. Rozier played and didn't score. For us, we were led by Nixon, who had 12 points, 5 rebounds. Fish back with a solid first half, 7.7 rebounds. Burris had a nice showing with 9. Montgomery, 6. Harmon with 4. Off the bench, Carraza had 7 in 9 minutes. Sedelnikov had two, O'Neal had two, Henderson and Varley played and didn't score. We shot 46% from the field, three of nine from behind the arc, 73%, 16 of 22 from the charity stripe, and we only turned it over three times. So solid first half for the Cats. Can we hold on, though? We've blown a 23-point halftime lead before, so or whatever that was in, in one of the previous episodes. We miss a three-pointer there. They get the ball to try to cut into this 17-point lead, and they can't. They turn it over. Two free throws by Harmon put us up 19. And one, but they miss it and get the rebound, so the four-point swing there to make it a 15-point game. Our ball, we miss a shot, we get the rebound. Fish back in the paint, lays it up and in, and it's an 18-point lead. Just don't turn the ball over. Take care of it. Take good shots, and let's move on here. Missed jumper, but we get the offensive rebound and turn it over, but then they turn it right back over, thankfully. And Montgomery drills a three to put us up by 21. So it's our ball, 21-point lead. Make it a 23-point lead as Varley hits that shot. We miss the... One and one, so we're up by 21 points with 14 and a half left to go. Missed three-pointer, we get the ball back. Another missed three-pointer, they get the ball. They get the rebound that time. They turn it over, though. They fish back in the paint. No, it's Nixon in the paint who's got 14 points for us now. 
63 to 38. We are blowing St. Mary's out of the water here. 25 point lead with 12 and a half left to go. Turnover for us, turnover for them. Long jumper by Burris is no good. They get a basket there to get within 23. And we have a, I don't know if it was a shot block or a turnover, but they get an and one, miss the shot, get the rebound, and it's a 19-point game. We get one out of two at the line, so we're up 20 with 10 minutes left. We're up 18 now. One out of two at the line. It's a 19-point lead. 19-point lead with the basketball. Two free throws by Nixon. 67 to 46, UNH with the lead. Missed shot, but we get the rebound, and then we turn it over. They miss an easy layup, and then Nixon comes in and lays it up with the right hand for two. It's back up to a 23 point lead. 69 to 46. 71 46 as Montgomery picks up his 13th point of the game. We're not doing a great job taking care of the ball here, but uh, it hasn't hurt us too badly as St. Mary's offense is really uh, struggling. So we're up 24. They actually had a um, technical foul called on him. And there's a missed shot put back by Burris, who's got 11 points now. And we're up 26. Make it 28 as Montgomery scores. He's got 15 on 7 of 10 shooting. We are up by almost 30 on the number 8 seed or the number eight ranked St. Mary's Gales. Carraza hits a couple of free throws. It's a 27-point lead. And we're just looking to run the clock out now and move on to the Sweet 16. Miss shot, miss shot. 25-point lead with four, three and a half left. Just killing some time in the paint. Fishback goes up with two. He's got 13 points, nine rebounds. 81 to 54. Fishback scores again. They get a basket. It's 81 56. Turnover. It's a 23 point game. They get a three, and it's a 20 point game now. Miss jumper. They turn it over. We get it back. Down to the final minute, Nixon hits a three to give him 23 points in this in this upset, frankly. Missed the shot. Not so much that we won. I mean, we were we did win 26 games this year, and we are the number seven seed. So it's not that we are that big of an underdog, but the fact that we blew them out, that's a surprise. So we beat the St. Mary's Gales 86-61. to They were led by Bowie, who had 18 points, 4 rebounds. Hardy with 8 and 7. Harrington had 8 points. Whitting had just 2. McIntyre didn't score. Jackson had 12 off the bench. Bennett had 8 off the bench. Lopez with 3. Wadley with 2. Rozier, Kim, Faust, Belton all played and didn't score. They only shot 38% from the field. 2 of 16 from behind the arc, which killed them. 17 to 27 from the charity stripe, and they turned it over 20 times. For us, we were led by Sean Nixon, 23 points, seven rebounds, four assists. Fishback had 15 points, nine rebounds. Montgomery, 15 points. Burris, 11 and eight. Harmon struggled with his shot. He was all of seven shooting, uh, but was six to seven from the line. Carraza had eight. Varley had four. Sedelnikov had two. O'Neill had two. Henderson had uh, played and didn't score. We shot 43%. We were only 5 of 17 from behind the charity stripe. 25 of 35 from the line, and we turned it over nine times. So I'll take it. We move on to the Sweet 16 as we demolish St. Mary's 86-61. to 61. So we'll see who we're going to be taking on in the Sweet 16 here in just a minute as we now sit 27-7 and 7 on the year. Oh, that's right, we're going to have to play through a week, roughly. And my recruiting is all jacked up, if you guys remember. Um, none of the players that we want are eligible because they're dum-dums. So we had to uh, um, 
We had to kind of stop on a dime. All of these guys, while they would be absolutely wonderful, uh, as well as Vili Skoda would be absolutely wonderful to play for our team, uh, none of them have SAT scores over 900, which means none of them can play for us. Uh, it used to be 800. I don't know when it changed. I guess I should have been paying closer attention, but uh, um, none of them are going to be able to play for us. So we've had to kind of switch things up here a little bit and go with some other um, other options. And I don't right now. None of them, neither of them, are interested in us. So I don't. I I have a feeling this could be a rough off season. We may be looking at uh, three transfers. Uh, so we'll just sort of see how it goes. Who are we playing? Let's go. Arkansas. The number 11 seed Arkansas Razorbacks. So uh, they've had a couple of upsets here. Let's take a look at them. Their leading scorer is... Uh, who? Right here. Chris Felix, the 6'10 senior, averaging 14.5 and, and 7. Fishback's not far off, though. Again, we're a higher scoring team. We play a bit better defensively. We're better shooting. Uh, we turned the ball over less, so it should be interesting. They only played one game against top 25 team this year, Marquette, and they lost 62 to 50. Uh, we're the higher rated team. That's or higher ranked team. That doesn't happen very often, but uh, that's that's where we stand. And I wish we could look at. We can't look at the tournament update, right? Like, there's no way to do that. Dashboard, staff roster, depth, standings, tournaments. Yeah, there's no, like, is it under here, polls and media? Um, yeah, it doesn't appear, it kind of stinks. I, I wish you could see, like, a bracket-style breakdown, and maybe that's something they're going to give to us in the updated, uh, the updated version of the game, which is coming out here, and I think beta's already out. So, um, All right, we're going to get to this next game here in just a moment. All right, let's get to it. So we're going to be taking on the number 11 seed, Arkansas Razorbacks. So if we win... <laughs> All right, so either way, this is going to be the last game of the episode if we win. Uh, next episode will be um, the Elite Eight. If we lose, it'll be the end of the season, and I'll send my head to the official end of the season. We'll go through um, uh, end of the season awards and, and that sort of thing. But hopefully we win, and it's a non-factor. Starting for Arkansas, Rowan Lane and Wendell Lewis in the backcourt. Lewis, look at those numbers. Do it, Mr. Do-it-all. 13 and a half, six assists, four and a half rebounds. Brooke Johnson, DJ Eldridge, and Chris Felix in the front court for us. Same as always, Montgomery and Harmon. Nixon, Burris, and Fishback. Nixon is just a monster for us. So let's get to the action. Let's see what happens early on. We miss a three. They miss a shot. A couple of fouls on them. Another missed three this time by Montgomery. They get the put back and take an early lead. Missed shot, put back by Burris, and we are all square at two. A couple of rebounds for Arkansas, and on their third opportunity, they finally get a basket. So they're up four to two. There's a jumper by Corliss Harmon, which is nice to see considering he was 0 of 7 in the last game. 4-4 four four here early on. Three-pointer by Montgomery is good, and it's 7-4. to four. Five minutes gone. And they get called for a charge. We get the ball back. Harm, uh, Burris throws down a jam, and it's 9-4. to four. An early... Three-point lead now as they score 9-6. Make it 11-6 as Burris with his back with a back-to-back -back dunk. Eleven to eight. 
as Fishback throws that one down. So that's three straight dunks for the Wildcats. Missed baseline jumper by Nixon, who hasn't scored yet. That's a bit of a surprise. As an alley-oop from Sedelnikov to Burris. It's 15 to 11. There's a three-pointer from Nixon. Gets us on the gets gets on the board, and we're up seven. Missed jumper. We get the rebound. Harmon or Sedelnikov hits that one. He's got a bucket, and we're up nine all of a sudden. And we're up 11 as Harmon hits that one. So the lead starting to expand here a bit for the Cats. Interior passing between Burris and Fishback. Fishback is fouled, gets one out of two at the line. They hit a three-pointer, and it's a seven-point game. Nixon or Harmon with the jumper misses it, and it's 23 to 16. Harmon misses that one. Put back is good by Carraza, and we go back up nine. Seven-point game as we turn it over. Two free throws by Carraza. Put us back up by nine. They miss a three but get the offensive rebound. Miss this next shot. Fish back in the paint for two. Carraza with the foul line jumper. Hits it. We're up by 13 at 31 to 18. It's now 31-20. Montgomery with the three from the corner. Montgomery with another three from the corner. Heat check misses that one. 37 to 20. 39 to 20 as Fishback hits that shot, giving him seven. We are up 17 points. We're up 19 as Carraza hits the pretty jumper. Missed shot there. Two free throws for the Razorbacks. There's a jumper by Harmon from the baseline. Give him six on the game. One out of two at the charity stripe. There's a basket by Varley, and we're up 20 now. Varley misses that one. And Arkansas is going to look for the final shot. They miss it. And we're going to go to halftime up by 20. So, again, better defense than anything else as they only shot 10 of 31 from the field, 1 of 12 from behind the three-point line. They were led by Lewis, who had 7 on 3 of 13 shooting. Felix had 6. Eldridge, Johnson, and Lane each had a bucket. Carney and Dirch each had two points off the bench. Route Anderson had one. Howell had none. Uh, yeah, so they shot really, really badly. We were 57% from the field, 19 of 33. We did our damage inside in this one. Four of 11 from the three-point line, three of four from the line. We turned it over five times. Nobody in double digits, but again, really balanced scoring. Montgomery led the way with nine. He had three threes. Burris, perfect four of four shooting at eight points. Fishback had seven. Harmon had six. Our leading scorer, Nixon, only had three points off the bench. Carraza, eight points and three rebounds in nine minutes. Sedelnikov and Farley each had two. So good first half. Just got to hold on here, and we'll go to the, the Sweet 16. For the second time in, uh, what, three seasons? Four seasons, I think. We're up 20. We got to hold on first. They hit a three right off the bat. They miss a shot there. Montgomery misses a three. It's still a 20-point game. Two free, one out of two at the line, so they got a quick 4 nothing run to open the second half to get within 19. As Burris gets another jumper, he's now 5-for-5 five five shooting. It's a 21-point lead. At 58-39, or 59-38, to 38 rather. J.J. Watt signing with the Arizona Cardinals. My phone just beeped and told me that. Two-year, $31 million, $23 million guaranteed. Seems like a pretty good deal for Arizona. 61-41 is the score here. We're up by 20. We turn it over. It's an 18-point game. 
Make it 20 as Fishback buries the little jumper. In the paint, Carraza hits that one. Esteban Carraza with 10 points in this one. 22-point lead. Turnover by Sedelnikov. They hit a 3, and it's a 19-point lead. We miss a shot. Put back by Fishback is good. The Fishback put back. I like that. It's a 21-point lead with 7.5 left to go. A 19-point lead with 7.5 to go now. Turnover again. And they're within 17. So offense in the second half has been not great, but uh, our defense continues to play pretty well, and we're limiting their opportunities as Carraza throws that one down at 69-52. to Carraza finally misses a shot, and they're now down 15. They're climbing back into this one a little bit. There's a jumper by Varley mid-range two, up 71-54. Turnover by the Cats. They hit. They miss a three, miss a couple of putbacks. We miss a shot. They come back with it. So it's four and a half minutes left. We're up by 15, so it feels like we're okay. But uh, I just would like the clock to expire here. So we hit a couple of free throws. Carraza puts us up 17. They get two free throws at the other end. Miss three pointer. They miss the one and uh, the front end of the one and one, and Fishback lays that one up and in. Miss jumper. So we're up seventeen with two minutes left. We're up fourteen with two minutes left. Up twelve as they make a late run here. Ooh, it's a nine point game now with a minute left, and they keep fouling. Three free throws by Carraza gets two out of three, and we're up 11, up nine. And they're just going to keep fouling, and they think they stopped fouling there, but we get a and one from Burris. And we're going to escape. Uh, we are going to move on to the Sweet 16 as we defeat the Arkansas Razorbacks. Or excuse me, we're going to move to the Elite Eight as we defeat the Arkansas Razorbacks in the Sweet 16 by the final score of 80 to 68 and it wasn't the usual suspects for us this time we'll look at arkansas first they were led by felix who was just a monster 25 points 13 rebounds johnson had five points 10 rebounds lewis with 12 lane with five eldridge with six off the bench dirch had six anderson four carney and route had two and three respectively they shot 40 percent from the field 27 to 67, only 3 of 22 from behind the three-point line, 11 of 16 from the charity stripe. They turned it over 12 times. For us, we were led by Wade Burris, who had 21 points, 6 rebounds. He was 10 of 13 shooting. Our leading scorer, Sean Nixon, only attempted 3 shots in the game, had 3 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists. He did foul out in 26 minutes. Esteban Carraza was awesome off the bench for us, 16 points, 4 rebounds. Fishback had uh, 13, Montgomery had 11, Harmon had 8, Varley and Sedelnikov had 4, and those were the only 8 players that played. So we're going to move on to the Elite 8 for the second time in our school's history. Who will we be playing? Let's see. So we are 28-7, and seven, the second most wins in uh, school history, second only to that 29-win season. So let's see what we got. Notre Dame, the number one seed, Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Uh, Stephen Cole didn't hate us, so does that mean that he's interested in coming? Not necessarily. Uh, let's see, we need to go here and recruits offered. And let's remove this one because he didn't want to come play for us. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to end up with three... Uh, um, three transfers this year, which is fine. I mean, you know, I I, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I guess I, I I hate to say I wasn't paying attention because I was paying attention to to recruiting, but um, but I wasn't paying attention to the fact that my SAT scores changed. Uh, that kind of sucked. But you know, we'll plug ahead. We got a, a pretty good team set up for next year, so I'm not too too worried about it either way. Uh, I'm not overly interested in signing a um, – yeah, none of these guys have a ton of interest in us anyway. So 
uh, we'll stick with Stephen Cole. We'll see uh, see if we can land him. And yeah, I mean, we'll plug away. I mean, if you look at our roster, we're not in not in bad shape. I mean, we're gonna lose Montgomery next season, and we're gonna lose Cook, who hasn't really played at all. So we're gonna go into next year with Fishback, Burris, Carraza, Nixon, Varley, Sedelnikov, Harmon, Lavelle, Gilmore is gonna come back. Henderson, uh, O'Neill. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be fine. I mean, we're gonna be we're, we're gonna have enough depth. We're we're gonna be fine next season. We'll just have to make sure that we are. I mean, the following season is we're gonna we're gonna suffer some pain as we're gonna lose Burris, Sedelnikov, and Harmon. So we will uh, and Henderson. So we're gonna have a lot of scholarships to play with next year. So a lot of flexibility to do, hopefully do some fun stuff. So Notre Dame is are they the number one team in the country? Number three in the country. Uh, number one seed overall. They are expected to blow us out, uh, or they're, they're, the, the game prediction, 90% of the people are expecting them to win. Their best players, John Williams, averages 21.5 a, a game, four rebounds, four assists. Corliss Harmon is going to have his hands full. We are a higher scoring team than them uh, when it's all said and done, but they've got the best player by far in John Williams. But that's for another time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, it's, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, leave me your comments, leave me a like, leave me a subscribe, let me know your thoughts, etc., etc., etc. It's a bit of a shorter episode this time, but uh, I think that's good. I will talk to everybody soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.